Hi, and welcome to Using Hollyhock. My name is Jacques Tribiani from Using Community. In this tutorial, I will show you basic concepts to understand Using Hollyhock. Using can manage audio, MIDI, video, and lights, but for now, let's focus on audio. Create an empty workspace. This part of the window is the workspace. Inside the workspace, racks. And inside the racks, patches. You can consider the rack as a channel strip with input and output. But inside this strip, patches will allow you to fully customize your rack with effects, samplers, piano rolls, remotable controls, and much more. First, check your devices are activated. Click Setup here. Under Audio, check the devices you need. Do the same for your MIDI devices. Now open the device panel with this button. From here, you can drag and drop your devices in and out to your rack input and output. Audio in green and MIDI in blue. You can use the trash bin to delete the unwanted devices from your rack. Let's fill our rack. First, run using engine with this button. Open the browser here, and under sounds, loops, drum loops, pick concrete G4 and drop it into the patch, selecting normal sampler. Under library, audio FX, filters, drag and drop filter time curve to the rack. A new patch is created with your effect. Do the same for flanger under delay tab. This way, sampler sound goes to filter, flanger, and finally to output. To resize your rack, click it and use these buttons. Or your mouse wheel. You can resize the patches. and the workspace as well. This button, Reset Zoom. These are factory patches. But you can build your own from scratch by clicking the Add New Patch button. Another solution is to customize a factory patch. Let's say I want to control the filter gain with the knob. Double-click the patch header to enter Edit Mode. Here is the power of a modular software. All the modules of the patch are here and can be tweaked. You can even create your own module. But for now, let's simply drag a wire from the filter gain inlet pin. When you release, a contextual menu appears. Choose Knob. Your knob module is here. Close the editor window. The knob is here. You can change its color and use it immediately. Now click the background and create a new rack from this menu. From the browser, under sounds, various, voices, drop mail poem into your rack. Deep into that dark and from library, Long audio idea. FX, panoramic, Dreaming. drop Theory. the pan Doppler patch yes. under the sampler. Dreaming dreams no mortal ever to unsync to loop and resize your rack. Create a third rack and drop a reverb from the browser to this new rack. You change racks or patches colors by clicking it and picking a new one here. Now add reverb to rack 1 and 2 by dropping it to the reverb input rack. There are a lot of ways to customize your interface. You can change rack order, patch order, then minimize a rack from here, the same for a patch, and even for inputs and outputs. And 
You can change preset for your fix using the patch preset tab here. Dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. To show or hide the preset tab, use the snapshot button here. And the darkness goes so deep into that darkness appears. These are factory presets, but you can save your own. Change the filter curve. Dreaming dreams no more. Save it by clicking store new and rename it. You can also alt click a control to rename it. It's stored. If you are not satisfied, you can trash it. Presets are available for patches, racks, and workspaces. You can trash a rack or a patch and restore it from the trash bin. Long I stood there, with a track, wondering, can drop. Feeling, wondering, feeling. To duplicate a rack, click it and use dream duplicate dream from the menu. To, to duplicate a patch, hold Ctrl key and drop the patch. Use this icon to activate and deactivate patches and racks. This way, you can control precisely what parts of using you want to run, from the wall workspace to a single patch.